Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Everything Spice. My name is Tanya. Today I am gonna share with you a fast, simple recipe and it starts here. I have four chicken breasts in a pan just covered with water. This is a legendary recipe passed on by a family. That's chicken salad recipe is famous. And you're gonna be quite surprised how simple it is. So join me on the other side. This is gonna be poached until it's cooked till it's no longer pink, it's actually white, okay? And then I'm gonna show you what this recipe entails. It's gonna be so simple, but you are going to love it. Legendary chicken salads on the menu for Everything Spice today. Happy Saturday, everyone. All right, welcome back. I just wanted to show you, before we start doing the full assembly, I took it out of the liquid, okay? And this is what it looks like. Now it was really pink before, and now it's white. It has to be fully cooked. No pink showing anywhere, okay? And then what you have to do, if I can do this while holding the camera, is you have to let this completely rest. It's gotta be cold, okay? Before, or even room temperature, but it can't be hot like it is now. And you can save that liquid too for like a chicken stock. You can add some chicken stock to it, bouillon cubes, whatever, and make a soupish with it. So don't get rid of that liquid, that's gold. Oh, that's chicken stock, really at its purest form. So when I come back, once it's fully cooled, I'm gonna show you how we assemble our chicken salad. Stay with me. All right, welcome back. Now here we got, we got the chicken. This is the poaching liquid. We're not gonna use that no more. But like I mentioned, you could certainly use that for say chicken stock or making a soupish, which I might use. Okay, this is an old fashioned grinder it's been in the family for years and i just absolutely love it the food goes in here it comes out here now this is how we grind this is the secret to this chicken salad okay it's poaching it it has to be chicken breasts and it has to be put through a grinder now if you don't have an old-fashioned grinder not everybody has one lying about right and not every family member wants to give away such a beauty right but i got one and i'm so happy here we go this is what you could do in its place. You have to grind it. If you have a food processor, you could grind it. But look what I got. I got a KitchenAid. And my KitchenAid has a grinder. See it right here? And then it has these little, these little um, discs that you use, you put them in, and it has a fine grind or like a more of a chunkier grind. I have this, but I'm gonna go the old fashioned way because maybe a lot of people out there, TV land, might have what I have, which is this. So, let's do this. Now, the one thing you have to do with your chicken, that's the requirement, say it's hot, it's not hot, it's warm, is any gristle, any kind of fat has to come out. Nothing can be on this at all. It has to be pure, pure chicken. So get rid of any doodads that might not serve the purpose here. And look at it, it's all nice and cut, it's perfect. Let's try it. Let's try it. Got my gloves on. All right, let's see if we can grind this baby up. Come on now, catch it. It's so like, whatever, come on man, get in there. I'm gonna have to cut it finer, I don't know. I've never used one of these things. Well, I have for vegetables, but not for chicken. So let's see if it works. Pick it up. Pick it up and grind it, grind it, grind it, grind it. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, that's so cool. And what I did too with it is I oiled it first because it helps it. It has to be lubed, greased, and this is the perfect grind. For this chicken. All right, so you gotta go. You gotta go counterclockwise. You gotta go opposite of what I was thinking. There we go. And look at this. And this is working your muscles too. So you're getting a workout while you're grinding your chicken. Tell me, our relatives didn't know what was going on. That's why it was some of them were very thin. Can you imagine doing this all day? You'd be like Popeye, one arm bigger than the other. All right, I'm gonna cut this and I'm gonna keep grinding my meat. And you can do the same thing. Now, if you, like I said, if you have a KitchenAid, do it that way. 
but if you don't, then we're gonna have to do it the old fashioned way. And I think if you did a food processor, you could probably do it too, but the, the grind would be different and it might be a little bit more mushy. You know, it might not be as, look how pretty this is. It's like gorgeous. This is the secret to the success of this chicken salad. Believe it or not, it has to be the grind. So I'm gonna take this glove off, shut this camera off. I'm gonna finish grinding and then we're gonna come back and assemble this chicken salad. You are not gonna believe how simple it is, but Saturdays should be simple, right? Stay tuned. All right, welcome back. This is the final stretch. Now what we're gonna do today, I've cooled this off and look. Look at this beautifulness. And this is the texture. Now, simple, right? We grind, we poached it in liquid. We ground it up. Now, this is the secret. Yes, I know, it's, I'm, I'm not getting paid for this, okay, friends, by the Hellman's company, but this is the secret. Real mayonnaise. You gotta use it. I'm telling you right now, you gotta use it. Now, I'm gonna put some in. We're gonna moisten it up. Not too much, not too little. This is a drier product when you think about it, because you're grinding it up. A lot of space here for mayonnaise. All right, so this is how much I'm gonna use, but I'm gonna gauge it see how much I need. So this, the secret to it is this is it. This is it. It's just mayonnaise and the chicken breast ground up. I know, how simple can you get, right? But I'm telling you, this is going to be a winner winner chicken dinner because your friends and your family are gonna love this. Now you really have to gauge it as far as like how much mayo to put in. You don't want a whole lot and you don't want a little. Just want it perfecto. Unfortunately, it's gonna probably take my whole jar almost. Let's check it out. This recipe calls for this particular kind of mayonnaise. So I'm using it today. And this was actually conversationally a mess. My mother's favorite was this one. So she would like this. If she was alive, she would have loved this one. All right, so we're just gonna moisten it a little bit more. I'm telling you, it's gonna probably take my whole job, man. Good thing it's on sale, I got it on sale. All right, keep going, keep going, keep going. And what I have here, so good. I'm gonna keep doing this, hang on. All right, so it took the whole jar. So if you're gonna make a whole panel like this, maybe even more for a party, my friend, Carol, what she does for Christmas Eve, she has all her family over, and she makes little sandwiches like this. She makes chicken salad. She makes a ham salad, you know, that type of thing. Maybe tuna fish salad. And she puts it all out for her family to eat. And that's what they nosh on for Christmas Eve. Sounds like a great idea, right? You could serve this at your next holiday party, and it would be insane. Just saying. Look how beautiful this is. Look at the presentation. How gorgeous. Not too much mayonnaise, even though there's a whole jar in there. That's a lot of chicken. Chicken salad. Just saying. But this is all it is. And you're going to say, well, this is everything spice. Isn't everything spice supposed to have everything spice? Have you ever looked at a jar of mayo? Spices are in it, my friends. I didn't have to do anything. So what I'm going to do right now is I have some little salad ones. See, this is what Carol does. She puts little sandwiches out. And this is what my friend Nancy, the family did for this special recipe. They put little sandwiches out during the holidays. Mm -mm -mm. You can put a little or a lot. So this is what I'm gonna serve you today, my friends. A couple, two, would you like two? All right, you got it. I'm gonna make you two full little sand finger sandwiches for you. Not too much, not too much, just enough for you. And here we go. This is for you, my friends. And if you enjoyed this recipe as much as I enjoyed making it for you, please like, subscribe, and join me next time for Everything Spice. Have a wonderful Saturday, everyone. Be safe.